Charity from A Loop and a Hook and today I wanted to bring you along as I'm making a animal lovey for a friend of ours who is having a baby in the next couple of weeks. So I just wanted to come on and bring you along, show you my process. I don't have a pattern for this but I did look up some like tutorials on Pinterest and like got the general gist of what the it should look like so we'll see how this goes um and i think it should be a lot of fun the supplies that i got for this project are i got a little stuffed animal that's going to be the plushies or the little lovey's head um i have two different kinds of ribbon when i initially got these i thought i was going to do this gray one as a border and then do like little tags off of the edges of the lovey but after thinking about it, I think I'm going to just alternate the color of ribbon um, for the tags. I have plenty of pins for keeping things together. And then I have a pair of scissors. I got two different kinds of fabrics here. This, the first one is a flannel. Um, Joanne's had this super cute animal print, which I thought would be perfect because the person I'm making it for is having a little boy. And then there's this nice soft fabric that's going to be the top part of the lovey. So to start off, I am going to cut an approximately 16 inch square of this fabric for the top layer. Uh, I was doing some research about the different sizes of loveys, and it seems like about 14 inches is a normal size for a lovey. And so going with 16 will give me plenty of room for any seams and if it's a little bit bigger I don't think that's going to hurt anything at all. So I have my one 16 by 16 inch square cut out of my fabric and from here I am just going to cut diagonally to make four triangles so that we can stick so that the lovey's head will be in the center and we can just kind of have the four corners just straight down around it. So now that I have these two triangles, I'm going to cut a, another triangle down the middle from the point here down to the middle. We're going to just do it again with this one. So now that I have these four cut, I'm going to just give you a general idea of kind of what I'm going for. So I'm going to kind of sew these, sew them together and then like sew them around the base so that this kind of just drapes down around the body of this little sheet. So I pinned these two triangles together. I'm going to just sew them part of the way up so that it still leaves that little hole so that we can sew it to the little lamb's head. So I'm going to just sew these together really quickly. Again, I'll probably leave three or four inches, give or take, for that extra room for adding that lamb's head in and so we can sew that we can sew it. So I got the one seam finished right here and this is how it looks so far. So it has the nice slit right here just so we can fit the stuffed animal's head in the middle and then we can sew that on later. The next thing I'm going to do is sew the next triangle together and I'm going to repeat that with 
the final two triangles and then I will show you what it looks like then. everything sewed together with leaving this nice little hole in the top where I can just go in and sew the stuffed animal's head into but I am really really liking how this is turning out so far. So I got this all sewed together. I had to sew up a little further on the top just so this was a snugger fit and now that I did that I slid it over the stuffed animal and I'm going to flip this up and then I'm going to hand sew around the base of the stuffed animals where the seam is right there so that we get the this fully attached to the stuffed animal but I think it's really cute I like the fabric colors and the stuffed animal I think it goes really well together so I got this fabric portion sewed onto the lobby and this is how I did it I just folded it up like this and then just took my sewing needle and went around the base and just sewed it all onto there. The next thing I'm going to do is take the flannel that backs this and get that ready so I can sew it onto here. second layer um, sewed onto the little lamb and I think it turned out really nice um, <clears throat> you can see right here in the middle this is just how I sewed it on I just used a basic stitch and it didn't come through the top which was what I was hoping it would do but yes I really like how it's turning out I like the little animals and the gray it's just really really cute so now that I have everything done, I'm going to just iron down a little bit of this edge just to keep this down so I can sew it together. And that's going to just be, I'm going to do it to this top layer, or this top layer right here, and then this bottom layer. one edge ironed so that I have the nice baseline I'm going to fold over this fuzzy fabric and this one did not iron well so that's why I didn't I tried to iron it but it did not iron the way I wanted it to so I'm going to just line up the corners and pin this all together So now I'm going to cut the ribbon for the tags for the edges of the lovey. I think I'm going to do four inches because it's going to get folded in half. So four inches would be approximately right there. So that much of a tag and then it's going to get sewed. So I think that's, I think that's about a good length right there. I'm going to just cut a bunch of these and then we're going to be going to sew them on. Mm -hmm. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to start sewing the edge along with the tags that are going on the edge. So I finished up this little guy. I am in love with how this turned out. It looks so cute. I definitely am going to be making more when people I know have babies for baby shower presents. But I especially love how the grays match so well together. And then when you flip it over, it has all these fun animals. I did alternate the tags between the little fox and owl ribbon and then the solid gray, which I really like how that turned out, how it gives it a little bit of variation and mixes like some a simple thing with something a little bit more elaborate. I did just go in with my sewing machine and sew around the entire edge to sew up the top and the bottom panel and then the tabs all together just to give it a really finished look. Overall, I am so happy with this with how this turned out and I can't wait to make more. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching me make this little lovey. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and also giving this video a thumbs up. I also have created a Facebook account where I post more frequent updates about when videos are coming and different life updates and things like that. So be sure to check out the link in the description for that so you can go over and give me a follow on there. Have a great day. Somebody's watching all the progress. Is that what you're doing, Jinx? <clears throat> you're going to take a nap? No, it's hard work being a cat.